Yeah, it's got it's got a special smell to it. You can smell urine, roaches, cigarette smoke. Okay. Yep. All the plugs have uh, sputum on it. All right, welcome back everybody. It's Ben with the Pest Control Guys. Got a weird video today, two parts. First of all, we're gonna go check out a roach job. Those are always fun and you'll wanna see this one. It's pretty amazing. I'm gonna pre-apologize for the lighting. It's never good in a roach job. I don't, I don't know what it is. I guess they just, because there's not enough light, they got roaches. I don't know, it just always is the case. Second thing we're gonna do, the second half of this video is it's not river run, but it's river prep. So Tuesdays I go on the road. I usually go to Omaha and I've got a couple of trips stuck in there where I checked out different parts of the river. We don't know. We've been asked if we're going to do another river run and we don't know yet. We probably will, but we don't know yet. So I've been looking, I've been scoping out different parts of the river. We'll get to throw some of that in there today. So stick around for that. Every once in a while we get a phone call and Brian and I don't get out as much as we'd like to, but sometimes we get a call that says we need to go out. This is one of those days. <laughs> this is one of those days. Apparently there's a severe roach infestation, which we're gonna determine. Unfortunately, as we drive into this area, we can tell this is probably one of those areas too. Yeah, lots of rentals and lots of ones I don't care about, so. Trees growing up around it, uh, yeah. neglect, let's put it that way. I guess it's vacant, but they left a bunch of crap in the yard. Which... I'm thinking there's dead people. Ooh, cool. All right, <laughs> we're gonna go in and look. All right, Ben is breaking and entering a B and E. Oh, there went one by the front door. I'm not kidding. Front door already had him. Yeah, it's got it's got a special smell to it. You can smell. Urine, roaches, cigarette smoke. Look it. Oh, okay, yep. All the plugs have uh, sputum on it, which is regurgitation from roaches. Look at this. Here's this Baby roach right there. Hey, at least they've got the Ten Commandments. Dude, the this smell. Is the spot right here. Look at, people what are they cooking? Like what are they cooking? And some of you might be those people. Please, please, please. Oh, please gosh. Oh, gosh. Okay. <laughs> oh, the, what is all flying around? Oh, they got like gnats. Oh, my. <laughs> that thing's full of roaches. Oh, my gosh. Dude. <sighs> okay. Look at, people live cooking. like this and some of you might be those people please 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 don't have your kids live in this kind of stuff the smells I ugh. again back to the whole smell of vision thing wish we had it okay go ahead oh, gosh. Freaking chip scared the crap out of me Too. 
So they put incense in holes in the walls to try to cover the smell. Is that, I, that's why I smell incense, huh? Yeah. Okay, um, it's not good. That's all I can say is it's not good. There's baby roaches everywhere. Here's, this is feces. Fecal matter just stuck. There's one looking at me from behind the the calendar. Oh gosh. Oh my. <laughs> oh gosh. Look at him. They're just crawling everywhere around here. Okay. You see how there's oil on everything? That's all food for these roaches. Bags of trash that they left. Okay, so this is all just roach. Okay, you see how there's oil on everything? That's all food for these roaches. Look at how much fecal matter is on this cutting board. <laughs> That's a cutting board. <laughs> Look, there are all different instar cycles. So every instar cycle is going on here with these roaches no oh, gosh so ben what, what's it's, what's your reaction it's, it's not good oh they're crawling around in there too that's there's forks in there well there were oh there's the food source i found it hey i'm impressed though i mean at least they've been doing something. What have they been doing? <laughs> <laughs> it works. That's effective. It clear, clearly works, man. This one's writing to say hi. Oh gosh. That's a, that's a full blowner. Can you say that, full blowner? Yes, you can. Hey, there's not that many in here. It's stuck though, that's the problem. Yeah, it's because it, this is the spices. They don't hey, really like the spices. How do you much. feel when you touch I don't. In a place it's like it's this. sticky, dude. I don't like it. Look at they're coming out. So they got this trash can, little trash bag, and look at this one right here. Shine your light up there. The whole bag is moving. <laughs> oh, the boxes, the floors are moving. Okay, I know. I know absolutely for a fact when I get out of this home, I'm gonna have to take my socks and shoes off because i am positive that i'd be taking something home and old kobe she would ruin me she for this babies all over the place They're all dead in the door jam where they hey, close the door on. They're doing good pest control over there. <laughs> so Ben Ben is loving when you get smashed roaches. Oh, I hate it when they're in the toilet. Well they got feces to eat. Real feces. I guarantee. Look, I I'm not trying to make fun or light of the fact that people unfortunately live like this. But there, there's a better way. I, I'm, I'm saddened that kids had to be involved in this. Oh, this is the basement. I don't. How are you gonna fit in there, Ben? I don't know if I will. There's a roach right there. Oh gosh. No, I'm out. He's inviting you to come down and say hi. There has to, based on what I'm seeing. Oh my gosh. They're, they're on the ceilings. There, there has to be brown recluse in here. Okay, I, I'm going into the basement. I'm I'm right. I'm gonna be brave. I don't know if I can make it. It's pretty skinny. How would you get a dead body out of here? Because you know they have. Don't wipe up against the wall. I can't not. <laughs> yeah, there's a brown recluse. Yeah, roaches, roaches in the basement. Oh, there's a false wall. All right, so I'm gonna do this real quick. 
I don't want to, but I'm going to. I'm going to move some of this stuff. Okay, so I I moved the bag and then I could hear them all running, which bothers me. <laughs> I'm sorry, I gotta get out of here. I've seen enough. Ryan got a phone call <laughs> and I which, couldn't see what was going on. Which was my cue to get the frick out of there. So I've been waiting for this phone call for a while because it has to do with 11 years of putting in it's, for Wyoming hunting. It's hunting, so of course it's more important than <laughs> And roaches so I had to get out but that basement is completely full of webs not only that as I started to get into the truck and Ben's out here cooking he's like get in the truck let's but I'm leave. but I'm all itchy too so I know there's stuff on me so as I started to get into the truck I looked down and there was something black on my leg and it's a flea not only that I looked on my other leg there's a flea I'm not getting in this vehicle until I take my socks and shoes off and get Gosh. all the fleas off. Me. All right, well, let's see what you got. <laughs> oh, you got another one crawling right on you. No, nope, that was a bug. It flew away. There's one. So these fleas will get down in your socks and burrow, and they'll bite right around the edges of the top of your ankles and your underwear line, your hip line. And I'm wondering if the fleas were just in the basement or where they were. So, brown recluse, roaches, and fleas. And I'm itchy. Like, I gotta check. Did you hear what the neighbor? No, what was he saying? So the neighbor yells over, hey, how's it going? And I'm like, it's going fine. And he's like, hey, uh, is that house vacant? And I'm like, well, not really. He goes, is it abandoned? I said, I don't know, man. I'm just here to do a bid. And he's like, they got roaches? <laughs> like, I don't know. He goes, because I got roaches coming all the way over here. I think they're coming from there. And I'm Hell like. Hell yes, they have roaches. <laughs> I think every neighbor in four counties has roaches My now. My gosh. I, there, there's no doubt I'm not touching. Normally, I don't have a problem going and eat. And afterwards, I am going to be washing my hands after that. Everything was sticky, it icky, was icky. It nasty. It just. I don't know why we do what we do, but it's to fix crap like that. So I came to Omaha today and decided to come and check out the river up here. So this is the Missouri River, the same river we rode, but this is about, I don't know, 200 and 300 miles the other way. And uh, this place, this is on the north side of Omaha. There's actually a marina right there. We're gonna go over and check that out, but this river is ripping through here. They run a lot more boats than we do on our sections of the river. So let's go take a look. All right, I've moved over here. This is actually, the boat ramp is over there. This is like a big camping complex. I, I don't know, it's weird. There's a bunch of these little circles with a bunch of parking spots, but um, the river has this inlet and they turned it into a marina. Now, we were picked on for bringing jet skis to the, to the Missouri River, but up here, up north and further north into the Dakotas, they boat and jet ski and do all sorts of stuff in the river. And here's the proof that it starts here. So right here, is the inlet from the river and then it comes in and the marina's here so the boat ramps over there and then here's the marina so i want to point out there's a cobalt, which is probably an $80,000 boat, 
or more. There's some big cabin cruisers and some bigger cabin cruisers and some huge cabin cruisers. And there's regular runabouts and outboards, inboard outboards, pontoons. I don't see any houseboats, but that's it. Everything else, like every kind of boat is over there, which I can't believe they put them in the river, but they do. So the river can be used for all sorts of recreation, at least up here for sure. I'm gonna go over to that little dock and take a look. All right, it's kind of weird. There's a building here <laughs> with doors. I don't know if it was concessions or what it was. <clears throat> Grass is all grown up around it, like it's not being used, which is sad. There's this uh, little dock thing overlook that looks into the marina. That's what I wanted to come and see. But I had to go through some pretty sketchy grass to get here. Here's what it looks like. So I'm guessing you can fish off of this normally. I don't know, fish jumping. So I wanna point out that the uh, muddy Missouri is still muddy up here. This water is not clean or clear at all, but it, it boggles me. They've got like these 40 foot <laughs> Baja boats <laughs> and big cabin cruisers. Omaha, Nebraska. Sure enough. So that's pretty cool that they actually use the river. We don't use the river. We should use the river. Kansas City, what's wrong with you? We should use the river because this is gorgeous. Some of these are a little bit older, but a lot of the boats are really nice. So I wonder what it looks like here on the weekends. I bet it's pretty cool. Lots of people hanging out. They made this little bay like thing and the water's super calm but the river out there is ripping it's moving fast this would be a cool place to ride some jet skis or a boat i guess here's the beginning of the channel off of the missouri it's actually kind of a cool thing to look at so here we've got the river and then it's a very tight channel going into the marina the marina is clearly private. I drove over there and there's a gate. It doesn't let you in, unless you have a code. Oh man, fish are jumping everywhere. But uh, very cool. Doesn't look like there's as much debris here, but it's very similar to what we rode. I wonder if it's as muddy and sinky and nasty on the side. It doesn't look like it. I think, I, uh, I think I'd ride this. Okay, I would definitely ride this. So just down this way, right there is the bridge. That's 680 that crosses, and then it connects up with 29 going south or north if you want to go to the Dakotas. That's the uh, mighty Missouri up on the Omaha side. Very cool. Someday, maybe. Right, Ryan? Wait. Yeah. yeah. All righty. Yeah. yeah. All right, so we stopped. I stopped. You guys were with me, so we stopped and looked around at the river there. It was a pretty cool spot, actually. It made me, uh, made me think maybe it's time to uh, throw the skis back in the river and do it again. But it goes to show you that you need to enjoy the things that you have. They have the river, they don't have a lot of lakes and uh, they enjoy it. They put in a big marina, they've got some cool spots to camp there. and That's, that's pretty awesome. They use the river, even though she's muddy, <laughs> they use the river, which is great. We, that's kind of why we did the river run 
not just to say that we did something stupid or bucket list type thing. It was to show that you can do recreation on the Missouri River and it has a lot to offer. So I'm kind of glad that we did what we did and we got to uh, use the river for purposes that most people don't and it was fun. It was awesome. I would do it again. At this point I would do it again. So one of the things that we always say and are promoting is you've got to enjoy the ride and take a look around. We're always going, going, trying to get somewhere in a hurry so that we don't waste time. But man, if you don't stop and look around and see some of the sights, you're going to miss a bunch of stuff. I never knew that the marina was up there. I never looked, but I'm glad I did. I'm glad I stopped. I got to see the river, got to see some cool boats just something interesting to look at different than just driving there doing business and then hustling home maybe next time I'll find another spot to stop pretty cool stuff all over where we live I'm sure there's cool stuff wherever you guys live just uh, don't be in such a hurry look around a little bit enjoy it just like this dude riding his motorcycle he's enjoying the day and I am too All right, everybody, it's Ben. Uh, it's Tuesday, so Travel Tuesday, I came to Omaha. So here's the Missouri River. It looks the same everywhere I go, but uh, this is the city of Brownville. So this is Nebraska. It's, uh, I don't know, it's an hour south of Omaha-ish. And I looked this up just to find a place to go check out. Cool bridge in the background little park here it's a nice ramp very nice compared to what we dealt with further south but big wide ramp that river is ripping just like it always is it's a pretty big part of it too but I came here because there's a couple of cool boats so one of them is behind me here it's a museum because it's a it's an old paddle boat I guess uh, Captain Meriwether Lewis it's a big old paddle boat paddles on each side obviously it's dry docked but it looks like this is where it took off from and came back to like the uh, posts and everything are there cable tie downs those yellow posts and there is water underneath it but it looks like they've blocked it off but it used to pull in here I believe very cool it's uh museum is closed right now but two level Captain Meriwether Lewis Army Corps of Engineers dang that's a big River paddle boat. I'd love to ride on one of those. Look at those freaking winches. Those are crazy. Got this big old gantry lift on the front. Look at that. That's pretty cool. So I moved down to this other boat. There's the River Inn Resort. So it looks like they've got a hotel on the water. I'm not sure. And then down here they got another little river boat. So this one runs up and down. This one looks like it stays pretty permanent. If we were to look at another run from Omaha to Kansas City, 
this would make a decent candidate for a place to camp, but it's not quite halfway. So, it's got a campsite. It's got some cool stuff to look at, but yeah, time-wise, maybe if it was Omaha to St. Joe, that'd be a good run. This could be halfway. Anyway, cool little place to stop. I just figured I'd take a look at it. So don't pass up cool stuff. There was some cool boats. I like boats. Even their sign is a boat. <laughs> it's pretty cool. All right, so I'm coming down Main Street here in Brownville. This place is cool. Check this out. Cool little Main Street. They've got Ford Place. <laughs> historical society all these cool little shops and buildings gallery park got your uh, harness saddle and harness manufacturing art gallery little ice cream stand coffee this place is cool if you blink, you might miss it, but it's Brownville. Hey, there's a little uh, train car over there. Caboose. Farm aid. Even got this person with a whole bunch of junk in their car. They're pulling out in the road there. That's kind of crazy. Anyway, I'm going to go back over the bridge and head back over to the roads that I know. But here's the, uh, the river. A pretty cool little town. One of those factories. Something. Sand, maybe? I don't know what they put in there. Cool stuff. And just like that, we're back to farm country over here. Anyway, that was my little stop today. We'll see where I end up next. It works. That's effective. It clear, clearly works, man. This one's writing to say hi. Oh gosh. That's a that's a full blowner. Can you say that full blowner? Yes, you can. What is yeah, this? Not that many goop stuff on the ceiling. I don't even want to know. Uh, what was that movie? There's something about Mary. Do you need some hair gel? I'm thinking. I'm thinking there's meth being done back there. He's still checking. I hope the camera picked up the, the sound of them the running. Sound? Because that's scary. Dude. Sound division? Sound division. Well we have sound. Sometimes. Right. And we're, we're go. serious about uh, security at one point. I mean there's cameras. One, two, three, four, five five cameras on that pole there. I don't know what they're all about, but they're not catching the guys mowing the grass. I don't know. I'll have to look it up and see what they did on this thing. I'm assuming they went up and down the river. Camp. Oh, crap, did I go the wrong way? No. Shoot, I don't know. 